I did a lot of trips in Africa with UNICEF before I felt able or uh, experienced enough to form my own organization. And it was really, it was really in a, a trip to Angola. I was in a rural clinic in Angola where women had walked all night with babies strapped to their back to get um, medical services. And one of the doctors pulled me aside when we were touring the clinics and said, could you help us? We are missing two microscopes. And I said, oh yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go ask UNICEF. And I went to UNICEF and I said, you know, look, they need two microscopes, can you give them two microscopes? And uh, UNICEF looked at me and they said, we're really sorry, that's way too small for us. So at that moment I thought, wow, that's not too small for these women that walked all night. And at that moment a light bulb went off and I sat, thought to myself, there is room for a smaller organization that can work with these bigger organizations, that can seize the problem and turn it around. And in doing it, I didn't know how to do a nonprofit. I mean, I had my experiences with, with UNICEF, but in building it, I learned a lot about that. And it's, it's, it's an incredibly passionate um, field to be in. So uh, it, it focused, there are many good things, but education to me is a game changer. And girls' education, and especially secondary education, because that's where you lose a girl. At 12 years old, that girl is either gonna be circumcised, an arranged marriage, um, or pulled back into the family to work, or married off to some older man, and she's gonna have a life of poverty, probably. So that's why we focus on the um, teen girls.